I change your bum low. If you fight me, it's a celebration. Yeah, I would beat you. When you sign to fight me, it's a celebration. You ring back home. You ring your wife. Baby, we done it. We're rich, baby. Conor McGregor made us rich. Break out the red panties. We're rich, baby. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back. Finally, it's, it's been a couple months, but welcome back to the fifth round. I'm fully back. Bam, came in with a new intro and everything. I'm hyped as fuck. But, um... Honestly, I wanted to start off with UFC 273 next weekend. Literally less than like six days away now. It's Sunday. So I, I know it's on like the 9th, I believe. And I'm super fucking geeked for this one. I mean, clearly we got two title fights. We got Volkanovski fighting the Korean zombie. Peter Yan finally fighting now Jermaine Sterling again. And I wanted to start off with the Kelvin Gasman fight that starts it off. But I mean, clearly he just got injured and backed out. So... The main fight I want to start with, the Hamza Chamaya versus Gilbert Burns fight, clearly. I mean, the last three years, I guess it's about to be three years now, we saw Hamza come, into the, come in on fire in the UFC um, in 2020. He had three fights that I don't even, I think it was like four minutes and like 43 seconds, if I like exact, of fight time in three fucking fights. And then last year, he fights uh, the Leech, and I mean, it's, I think it was three minutes and 18 seconds. And so, I mean, he easily could have finished it probably even like 30 seconds before that, 40 seconds before it. But he was talking shit to Dana White and everybody, kind of like Habib. But I don't know. It's just he's been so fucking dominant that we've only seen him. We haven't even seen him full two rounds in the, in the UFC ever. So, I mean, we got that. And now we got Gilbert Burns, who I know everybody's pretty much writing off already. But Gilbert Burns, I know we, he was on a tear, fights Usman. Looks like he's about to win in the first round, knocks him down and everything, and then Clearly, Usman turns it on, jabs the shit out of his face, and then finally finishes him. But we I don't think we should forget that Burns, you know, returns and beats Stephen Wonderboy Thompson last year in a dominant three-round fight in, in July. So, I mean, it was pretty impressive. But I'm sitting here. I'm torn as fuck. I mean, clearly, every I think everybody's on the Hamsa train. And especially now, fan favorites, you know, Darren Till and him are, like, best friends now. Like, I, it's like stepbrothers out here or something. But it's just super exciting because... I mean, it's like, it's, I don't know which way to go with it. Like, I feel bad for Gilbert Burns, if I'm being honest. Because, like, if Gilbert Burns goes out there and looks phenomenal and wins, then we, oh, okay, Hamza, all right, he was a little too quick for him. Um, even though, let's not forget, he was supposed to fight Leon Edwards. Gets, I think Leon backs out or whatever. Or no, I'm fine. Hamza backed out because of uh, um, good old COVID and almost had to retire. But, you know, comes back, like I said, last, last year against the Leech. Looks phenomenal. And... I don't know. I just feel terrible because, like I just said, if Gilbert Burns wins this fight, I think everybody in the world's oh, we just pushed we pushed Hamza too much. But if Hamza goes out there and beats Gilbert Burns in any fashion, decision, dominance, knockout, dominance on the ground, anything, even if it's a back and forth, like it's off to the races. He's probably getting Usman next. We're all sucking him off. He's given, even though we all make fun of him and call him cum shot. I mean, he's giving us all cum shots now for that. So, like, <laughs> not to be funny, but. Seriously, like, he's off to the races, and I feel like this is why I'm really applauding Gilbert Burns for taking this fight. It's because it's a lose-lose for him, honestly. Like, I mean, even if he wins the fight in any fashion, and even if he struggles and still wins, we're all like, oh, okay, you should be, you should beat Hamza. And then, I don't know, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but seriously, like, I always hate, I shouldn't say hate because, like, all of our favorite fighters had to take that next step. Like the Conor McGregor's out there, the John Joneses, the everybody, like literally anybody you could ever imagine. Like they have to take that step to really test themselves. And I don't know. I just um I'm kinda sitting here. Like I know I want I wanna see greatness no matter what. Like that's why I wanted to see Connor win two belts. I wanna see anybody win two belts, three belts, four belts. It don't matter. I wanna see Henry Cejudo get his crack at uh, Alexander Volkanovsky, but I know it's probably not gonna happen. But seriously, like I, I'm always about the, the superhero story, basically, and Hamza is on the brink of that. And, I mean, if he starches Gilbert Burns and goes on to Usman, I mean, I'm probably putting all the money in the world on him. But at the same time, Gilbert Burns wins this fight. I mean, he's right next back in line against uh, Usman, probably getting a second crack at it. I mean, unless Usman finally gets Canelo. But I don't know. I'm just super fucking geeked about this fight. I'm kind of shocked that Hamza's such a big favorite now. I think it's like a plus 300 if not plus 400 last time that i saw well i guess minus um he would be minus but i'm saying gilbert burns is the underdog so it's plus for him but still man like gilbert burns at that 
I think for six years. I mean, the guy only lost like once or twice, but I mean, he was on a tear. Going through everybody, finally got his crack at Usman. Looked like he's about to win, so I don't know. I'm super excited for UFC 273 next week. Um, I don't know what you guys are thinking. I know pretty much the whole MMA community is kind of picking Hamza out to win this one. But I just kind of wanted to just give the shouts out to Gilbert Burns because if he does win this, he should be getting a bunch for that. Because, like, seriously, I'm not talking money or anything, but just the fame and the, the recognition for everybody. Instead, I know if he wins Sunday or Monday morning, we're talking, oh, Hamza just wasn't ready, and it's not going to be anything about Gilbert. So it's definitely the highlights all over Hamza Tremayev right now. And, yeah, I am pulling for him. I kind of want to see him pull it out. Because, like I said, I want to see greatness. So, I mean, we'll see who wins. I'm super geeked for it. I might change my mind 55 times before the fight. But I don't know. I just, I'm just i sitting here thinking Hamza's probably going to win. But I do. If I'm not mad at all because I like Gilbert Burns. So, if he does win, I hope he just gets the recognition. So, this has been Stephen Mousteris. The fifth round. We bag, baby. Be ready. We come in here. And if any, hey, any way to uh, any of my music lovers out there, I, I do the re-listenables where I break down some of my favorite albums of all time. So if you guys want to check that out, clearly it's on this page. So don't be afraid to. So you guys have a good one, baby.